Today, we'll discuss Arduino's input and output for both analog and digital signals. Before starting, it's important to know the difference between digital and analog signals. Analog signals are continuous signals that vary over a range of values, such as the voltage produced by a potentiometer. Digital signals, on the other hand, are discrete signals that can only take on a limited number of values, such as the binary value 0 or 1. The Arduino is capable of digital input and output through its digital pins. Let's connect an LED to pin 10 on the Arduino, and we'll write a simple code. First, we'll create a constant variable called LED, and assign it the value 10. In the setup, we'll use the pin mode function to tell the Arduino that pin 10 is an output pin. Finally, in the loop, we'll use the digital write function to set the output on pin 10 to high. Let's upload the code, and we see the LED turns on. On the contrary, changing high to low turns the LED off. As for digital input, let's add a button to our circuit. We'll connect one side of the switch to 5 volts and the other to digital pin 7. Additionally, we'll add a 10 kilo ohm resistor to pull the input to zero or ground. When the switch is open, without it, the signal goes crazy. On the code side, we'll define a global variable called button. And in the setup function, we'll set the button pin to input. Additionally, we'll begin the serial monitor to print our input signal. Finally, in the loop, we'll use the digital read function to read the input values and store them in a variable called state. We can print our state variable to the serial monitor and use it to control our LED. After uploading the code and opening the serial monitor, we see that as the button gets pressed, the value 1 is printed to the serial monitor, and when released, 0 gets printed. Additionally, the LED is triggered on and off appropriately. Arduino is also capable of reading analog signals through its six analog pins, A0 to A5, and can output an analog voltage through its PWM pins. You can tell it's a PWM pin by looking for the squiggly line before the digital pin number. So going back to our LED circuit, where the LED is connected to PWM pin 10, we can output an analog signal to not only turn the LED on and off, but to also adjust its brightness. As in our original LED code, let's keep everything the same, but we'll change the digital write function to analog write, and we'll set the PWM pin to a value between 0 and 255 to control our LED's brightness. Setting it to 50, we see the LED is dimmer than before. And when set to 255, it's bright again. Let's add a for loop to adjust the brightness value. The LED goes from bright to dim in a smooth way. Analog output is cool and all, but let's try to read an analog input. For this, we can use a potentiometer. I'm using one provided by Key Studio. They have an awesome collection of sensors, which I'll link to in the description below. But you can use any potentiometer, just follow the simple circuit diagram. I'll connect the negative side to ground, the positive to 5 volts, and the signal to pin A0. As for the code, Let's create a constant integer variable called potentiometer that holds the value A0 and another global integer variable called value to store the input value. In the setup function, we'll only need to start the serial monitor. Finally, in the loop, we'll store the input value in the variable value we created earlier and print it to the serial monitor. After uploading the code and adjusting the potentiometer, we see the value on the serial monitor range from 0 to 1023. We can divide this value by 4 and use it to adjust our LED's brightness. That's all for today's video. I've included a link to the GitHub repository with all the code and wiring diagrams from today's video in the description below, as well as links to the Arduino kit and components I recommend. 